Coming up next from Covenant House of Praise. The key to what's turning your life around is not necessarily secular education. Paul says, what's going to turn your life around is the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. Amen. In the knowledge of Him. Amen. I want you to, amen, I want you to digest this. This is the key to turning your life around so that people are doing all kinds of things. They're doing more classes. Uh, they're doing another course. Amen. They, they, they want to go, amen, to, amen, to do other disciplines. But amen. Paul is saying, no, what you need to do, amen, is to get the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Covenant House of Praise, the place where God orders and secures His blessings. God bless you. Welcome. Come on, congregation, and let's welcome them to our service. I'm continuing my teaching this year. My teaching this year is the year of divine returns. Divine returns. I believe that this is the year that God is going to just give to us another chance. It's also the year of double. This is a double decade that we are facing here. 2020 is the year of a double decade. 2000, amen, year of 2000, people were so concerned that the century is turning and all kinds of fears occurred. And now we have gone past the year 2000, and now we came to 2010. We have gone past that, and now we are 2020. Double decade. Now there is something that God said about double, and, and, and that's in Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 7. For your shame you shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion Amen. therefore in their land they shall possess the double everlasting joy shall be unto them so god is is has a plan for his people to get double yes. jesus himself said it in john chapter 10 and verse 10 that i am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. God is the God of increase. You as a child of God, you have to recognize that it is God's plan to bless you. From the very beginning of creation, Genesis chapter 1 and verse 28, the word of God says, and God blessed them. The word blessing is, is such an, an important word. It, by, the word. By the way, when we read Psalm 1, amen, and the, we, we, we read, Blessed is the man that walketh not in all these different things and stand there and sit there. It, what the word of God is actually saying is happy. God wants you to be happy where you stand. Amen. Where you sit. Amen. God says, I want you to be happy. I want you to have a life that is pleasing. There are many advers adversities that comes your, your way. These adversities that come your way, it comes to rob you of being happy, of being blessed. You know, I was telling someone today that the the, the greatest assignment that God has given to man is to work. That may sound kind of strange, but the greatest assignment that comes to you is for you to work. You have to work on every area of your life. Three of the most important things to us as we live in this life is one, our relationships. Two, our health. Three, our finances. Are you in agreement with me? Let's, let's, let's look at it again. Our relationship. Our relationship, one, is because if you find yourself 
in bad relationships, it would affect your destiny. Bad relationships will affect your, your destiny. Now you're married to somebody for five years and after five years you're ready to get divorced. Uh, it's because you are literally telling that person you have wasted five years of my life. You're married, worse yet if you go to 20 and you tell that person after 20 years that you want to be separate. If some of you don't want to get divorced so you, you go and sleep in different rooms. Uh, amen. Some people sleeping on the couch. Uh, amen. You you want to know why you having all them nightmares? Because you can't sleep properly. Amen. Because you are on the couch, but you're telling the, your 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 spouse or your partner that you are not happy, and that's not why you got married. You didn't get married. Amen. Or begin a relationship to catch no hell. Amen. You have you have you have come into a relationship because you you hope you're hoping that this person will add value to your life, and and if the person is not adding value to your life, then you are wasting time. You are wasting time. So, relationships could be destiny killers. You do not want these destiny killers, amen, just to rob you of your time. You, and then you, got, you don't get so much. Very soon you're getting so old until you have no more eggs inside of you and can't have babies and all them kind of thing when you're a young person. Amen. That's why you got to make sure that you find proper relationship hey, when, you, when, you are, when, you are, when you're a young person because, you, amen, you want to develop a proper and healthy family destiny killers amen but that's not what god wants for you god wants you amen to be happy so that you don't you don't sit down amen in the seat of the scornful nor stand in the way of of sinners where people people are amen are just sucking from you and and and, and robbing you of value in in, in your life he said, so that work now, you, you got to work on relationships. That's why I said work is one of the key things in our lives. We have to keep working on relationships. You know, they never live happily ever after. They have to work on work, living happily ever after. Amen. Because you, you will never, amen, you, you have never really went to a school to learn, amen, about, about James. And you never went to a school to learn about Dora. Amen. And when Dora comes into your life, or, or when James come into your life, they, they 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 bring a whole a whole family experience plus their community experience plus amen their culture experience. And the, and, and the two shall become one. Amen. So that's why in early stages of relationship, amen, um, a, a when you get married, you know, when you're caught in, there's no problem. You could easily kiss them goodbye. Amen. But when you get married now, there's no kissing goodbye. Amen. It's for, the, it's for better or for worse. Amen. And you, you, and you get inside it, yeah, and you and you, you have all kinds of problems, amen, and, and, and you have a good facade when you meet your friends. How are you going? <laughs> but I want to cuss you, you see, man. You know, but, you know, amen, but you, this, this is the reality of the pressure of life, you know, amen, amen. But you see, so that you got to work. It's about work. You got to work. You got to work. You got to keep working and, 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 and amen and, and dealing with strategies in, 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 in dealing with, with, with relationship. Then you come to, the, to your health. You know, the, the world is so health conscious. People are offering us so many different things on health now. Uh, and, and it's working because people are living longer in so much in many countries of the world. Um, the age of retirement is now being extended um, so that um, people, people are, are, are working towards Amen. Living healthier. In one, in the thing is in Switzerland, um, the one of the the, the the persons who is vying for office as, as president, um, they are, are, are offering a four day week work. They are, because they said people work too much and and they don't have enough time to socialize and find their energies exercised in other areas so that they can they can. 
better themselves and, and, and enjoy life much more. So, amen, people are looking for ways of it really having fulfillment to life because why why it is that hey man that li you, it, life has to be always a rush always a hustle hey amen we 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 need to to slow down because in so slowing down we find health we find health and health is so important amen so that we have to do things which i don't do enough of is walk and and, 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 and stretches and exercise and eating the right things and things like that. But more people are doing it. More people are doing it. Why? Because people do not want to live sick. Now, it, it is God's plan for us not to live sick. That's not, amen. That's why in, in the plan of salvation, the word of God kicked in there. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, we are healed. Jesus wants us to be healed. Let's take a look at Mark chapter chapter 16 and, and verse and verse six, 17. I think it's verse 17. Where, where Jesus, amen, talk about the signs followers following us. Let's go to 16. Amen. And, and, and the back there, okay. He 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 that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And he that believeth not shall be damned. 17. Uh, and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils they shall speak in new towns amen verse 18 amen uh, they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them and they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover so the whole idea of of of, of having authority over 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 things that will will take away your life rob you of, of of being free rob you of, of of standing tall because if devils are, are troubling you if if devils are troubling you and you cannot sleep if devils are troubling you and you are suffering with spirits of infirmities it means that you are not living a, a, a victorious life you're you're not living a conquering life uh, but jesus is saying i want you I want you, amen, to, to, to live a victorious life. I want you to, to live an overcoming life. And, and, and as, because I want you to live a victorious and an overcoming li life, watch it. Then. These signs, verse 16, verse 16. These signs, amen, shall follow them that believe. Amen, 17. Amen, these signs shall follow them that believe. Because God... God wants you to be in control of your destiny. He wants you to be in control of, of, of how your life can be, be fulfilled, how your life can be a life of, of overcoming victory. The Lord wants you, amen, to have that kind of blessing. The, the, the devil, as he said, has come to rob you, has come to steal, has come to kill, has come to destroy. But the Lord says, no, I don't want you. Uh, the Lord says in, 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 Jer in Jeremiah, um, let's go to Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 3. The Lord says, I have appointed, I have appointed to them that moan. I have appointed to them that moan. So if you find yourself in this place where, where you constantly you are dealing with the devils trying to attack you. The devils trying to mess you up. The Lord says, listen to me, uh, this is not for you. No. Because in my call over your life, my call over your life is that I have not appointed you, amen, to, to, be, to be moaning. I, am not, I have not appointed you to have the spirit of heaviness. I have not appointed you, amen, to be a, the, a person who, who is living in constant ashes. There is just death all around you. No, the Lord says, I have appointed you in Zion. Amen. That, that word Zion it represents praise. I have appointed you, amen, in my praise. I have appointed you in my praise to give you beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, amen, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. In other words, God says, I want your life to be so planted in me that I am going to get the glory because I am fixing your situation you are the blessed one you are the blessed one 
you are the blessed one so it's so important that you you realize that listen to me that if relationship problems is going to be a destiny killer in my life i have to be be working on my relationship if 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 health is going to be a destiny killer in my life i have to be working on my health and then the next thing is the third thing is finances money worries <laughs> anywhere let me say let's move on amen 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 it's the same cry money worries so so that's another major destiny killer if it is, it, so it, it means that God, God you got to pray that God give you a chance to get money. Amen. You got to pray that God give you a chance to get money. But to get money, again, here comes work. Somebody say work. work. Now, work is not a bad thing. A, a, amen a bad four letter word oftentimes people when they hear work oh god it means they're not going to do something again i wish i could get money easier than that amen amen I, amen I, I would not tell you where to go to get money easier than that amen amen because it then it gives you another set of problems amen amen but let's let's go to ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 10 now you realize in ecclesiastes chapter 9 that uh, that 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 here it is the wise man is talking about debt and and how to organize yourself to debt for debt because um, as long as there's life there's going to be debt and and he when you all when you began re reading ecclesiastes chapter 9 you almost want to say oh, let me stop reading this thing you know but don't amen don't stop you get down to this to this verse because he's telling you the reality of living the reality of living is that you have to start exploring your possibilities and this is it here exploit say to me exploring your possibilities it is important that you explore your possibility one of the one of the greatest weaknesses that most of us have inside of here is that we are there is so much inside of us but we are not exploring our possibilities and as a result of not exploring our possibilities we we always short our money because nobody in just putting money in your hands so you know amen I, I i wish i could that can happen just so hey, amen the hardest thing for people to release is money they'll get a little food they'll get a little drink you'll go buy a two beers for you but they ain't getting that money in your hand to, uh, uh, to buy that to buy that to buy that beer because they're not too sure if you go buy the beer hey, amen people people hey, amen people people are uh, amen are, are, are very 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 hey, amen untrusting with people and money you know that's why people are not willing to offer tithes in the church because they're untrusting and even though if god says so i am not trusting amen by the way that pastor like like nice car he like nice house amen i think he's gonna buy our next one amen and i would be buying the next one amen <laughs> amen but I, I amen but i want you to know amen that people are untrusting but so that but 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 for you you need money come on and say i need money now remember it's the love of money is the root of all evil not money it's the love of it is the root of all all evil so the bible says for you to get it whatsoever your hand finds to do do it with all thy might for there is no work nor device nor knowledge nor wisdom in the grave where you're going there is none of that in the grave so that so that whatsoever you find to do how now you know one of the challenges i want you to know that we face which 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 is which which is which is which which when we were given it it was good because it is good that we get educated it is good that we get skills we, we 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 were told from small amen little children go to school and learn well otherwise later on in life we go catch real hell without a little education in we had our whole life is pure misery we better off dead how are we doing there how are we doing there <laughs> amen there is simply no room in this whole wide world for an uneducated little boy or girl. Now we that's you know that they have pushed they have pushed that on us. But amen. 
I have realized that that people who are who a lot of people who are educated, hey amen, they haven't done too well. A lot of people who have, hey amen, who 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 have been skilled haven't done too well. Why? Because um, they 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 think that education, amen, and their skills was the where would it all end for their prosperity and their significance in life not knowing that 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 is not it uh, well let me just go a little deeper uh, ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 11 in ecclesiastes chapter 9 uh, solomon said i wake up and i see all of this death around me and all of these powerful people died. Remember I told you about from, from verse 1 to, to 9, he, he talks about all these things. And then he comes up and he says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not for the swift, nor the battle for the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happens to them all yes. now take take your time and watch it take your time and watch it so that your life you 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 have your your little job you have because you got your education but what god god is saying to us you need more than that right. you need more than that yes. because for you to produce to get to get the kind of a fulfillment and the kind of satisfaction and the kind of comfort you, you, you want. You realize that you got good job, you got good money, you're looking good, your nails bending all hall, amen, amen, oh, amen, glitter, amen, and shades, and, amen, and, and your glasses, man, it blings, amen, and your eyelashes hitting for, for so, amen, you got on brands, your Levi, and your, and your have on, amen, your your, 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 your Nike, and there's a two thousand dollars one. Now we call them uh, with the bubbles under your foot and uh, Amen, Mac. You know, and all. The, and, but you have to, you have on all them things, but you're not fulfilled. You're not happy. Uh, amen. You're not seeing sometimes where your money going and how you're getting fruitfulness out of your money. Those are destiny killers, you know. That you're not seeing. Hey, amen. That you, you, what you really want and what you're looking for to satisfy. You're not getting it. Amen. You're not getting it. So that you, you, you have to realize, amen, then what? But observe. Observe what the scripture is saying. God is saying time and chance. Time and chance for you under the sun to run well. Time and chance for you to be strong to overcome your battles. Time and chance for you, for you to be wise enough to eat bread satisf satisfactorily. Time and chance for you to have, amen, understanding of how you control your life. Time and chance for you to take, amen, the skills that you have and be favored with what you what you what you what you what 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 you are doing with it, amen. It happens so that it, it, you must not allow yourself to miss your how you operate with your time and how you operate with the chance that God is giving to you. Now, Paul was praying, Paul was praying, but Paul was praying this prayer from a spiritual concept that as a people of God, we will rise. Ephesians chapter 1, amen, and, and verse 15. Paul said, listen, to this. this is a careful prayer to examine. Paul is saying in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 15, he says, since I heard of your fate, I heard of your fate. Now, can you imagine, amen, it's like I am telling you since I heard of your fate. Paul is saying, since I heard of your fate in the Lord Jesus and the love unto all the saints. He says, I cease not to pray for you. In other words, Paul says, I want you to know, uh, amen, I've been giving God thanks for you. And I've been making mention of you in my prayers. 
why because you see you come into God and in your coming to God you you want to live this vic overcoming victorious life you want to master your past because I'll tell you what will mess you up before I go further what will mess you up in terms of promoting your life and you developing your life and you becoming victorious in your life is your sense of self yeah, amen. amen to please don't miss this your sense of self is your biggest enemy because your sense of self tells you that your past haven't been so good your, your, your sense of self tells you that your past your past hasn't been so good your sense of self tells you that you you listen to me i have had some great suffering in it and i have been people have not trusted me i have had bad relationships the amount of men i beat i beat some good men in them amen so man freed me now you know you know Amen. I, I get some women some real problems, you know. I have been a Casanova, so people don't trust me at all now, you know. So all of these things come up in your life and your and your sense of self. Amen. But you know, I was never bright, you know. Uh, I never had good schooling, you know. So I don't think I could get anything in life, you know. You know, I I I don't think I uh, amen. I are good looking enough, you know. I I pretty enough, you know. Amen. I try weave extensions, shall go on bald head no, and it's still not working or some kind of thing. Amen. So you all your sense of self will stress you and frustrate you and all them kind of thing. Amen. So, amen. Paul, Paul, Paul says this to me. I, you're in Christ, you're different now. In Christ, uh, you're different. Paul said, I've given God thanks for you. No, I've given God thanks for you because I want you, I want you to start to control your life. The whole thing is about the controlling of your life. The controlling of your life. So he goes on to verse 17. He says, oh, here, the, that the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Observe. So the key to turning to, to turn in your life around is not necessarily secular education. All right. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's not necessary. Amen. The key to what's turning your life around is not necessarily secular education. In it. Paul says, what's going to turn your life around is the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. Yeah. Amen. In the knowledge of Him. Amen. <laughs> I want you to, amen, I want you to digest this. This is the key to turning your life around. So that people are doing all kinds of things. They're doing more classes. Uh, they're doing another course. Amen. They, they, they want to go, amen, to, amen, to do other disciplines. But, amen, Paul is saying, no, what you need to do, amen, is to get the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Why? You see, because you, one, verse 18, he, he's saying, because your eyes need to open up. Amen. Your eyes need to open up. Why your eyes need to open up? Because you need to, 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 to see a chance. To, amen. To see a chance. Your eyes need to be opened up. You need to have revelation to understand your, your, your time. You need to have revelation to understand your time. Because if you can get to understand, this is my time. This is my this is my chance. Amen. I, amen. I, you gotta be in a groove. You gotta be in a groove. Amen. Where 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 God can put you or you can find yourself walking in the position where God Amen wants you to walk in. That in the midst of farming, God could take care of you. Amen. Amen. God can take care. Remember that woman with Elijah? Remember that woman with Elijah? She said, listen to me. All I have is a little oil and a little flour. And, and I'm going to eat this now. And we are going to die. We're getting a few sticks here. And we're going to make a cook and get ready to die. Because do you know that this whole place has famine? Everybody catching the skin here. And Elijah said, no, no, no. He said, bake a cake for me first. He said, bake a cake for me first. In other words, hey amen, God has sent me on an assignment here. But if you can, if you can stop allowing, amen, your mammon to control you. Many a times you allow, amen, what your work to control you. You allow, amen, you, how you can get money to control you. And when you get the money to control you, it, it just blows away like this. Why? Because God is not in it. God is not in it. And you have to realize, I'm going to change this situation now. 
Amen. Because if time and chance comes to comes from God, then I gotta be in a position, amen, where time and chance, amen, is gonna have to work for me. Amen. Because the race is not for who? The swift. Amen. The battle is not for the strong. Amen. Amen. Bread is not for those, amen, that are wise. Amen. But amen, but chance and chance and time is what all of us have that God gives to us and he's saying let your eyes be enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling amen and what what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints now some people takes this and just amen just 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 sp totally spiritualized sp spiritualize it amen but amen but remember the things that are seen are temporary the things that are not seen are the things that are eternal. So if the things that are not seen are the things that are eternal, and, the, and you need to have your life be mastered by these things, it means that you will not just only have, amen, wealth for eternity, you will have wealth for here and now. You will have wealth for here and now. You'll be able to control your destiny from here and now. You'll be able to master your relationships, your health, amen, your finances from here and now. Let's keep going. Amen. Verse 8, 19. Amen. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power? Amen. Which he gave, amen, to us when he raised Christ from the dead and set him at, the, at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Let's go back to verse 19. Amen. Because, amen, God, God wants you to know what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards you. He wants you to know that. Amen. How can you know that? Amen. How can you know that? It's because, amen, amen, God does not, amen, want you to live without revelations. God does not want you to live without revelation. Because if you, if you continue to live by the sense of, of, of self, amen, it, it will defeat your purpose. The sense of self will de defeat your purpose. You, you, so, that, so that you will feel, I cannot, I can't. There is nothing as you can't. But you, are you, the, the big question, let's go back to Ecclesiastes chapter, chapter, amen, chapter 9 and verse 10. Amen. The, Paul, Paul, amen. Here it is. The wise man is saying, amen. Whatsoever your hands find to do. Whatsoever your hand find to do. God wants you, amen, to realize that, that the revelation that he has given you, the revelation that he's given you, Amen. It's, it's, it's what's going to motivate you to get the, 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 the fulfillment that you have, have going to have in life. Because the, many times, you know, the, the, I, my son, my son, is a, a, I went to law school and then he comes and tells me, Daddy, I'm dropping out of law school. I said, what after I spent all them thousands of dollars? I don't think I want to do that again. I said, all right. He said, he said, Daddy, uh, I, I, I'm going to do finance. And he goes and do finance. He's a banker. My son is a banker. And, and so I know, amen, that finance and law will assist him in, 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 in his work. As a, being, a, being in the bank, uh, finance and law. So he works in that, in that, in that section there. Um, in his, in his career but but he can do it because he has a boat, a mixture of both but you see now he's telling me daddy I have a, I have a new plan you know? I said what's it I want to go into business I said Jesus <laughs> Lord <laughs> you know? but it's, it's part of growing up as a, as a young person and then I then a, a, a friend of mine gave me a business oh this business can make a lot of money so I tell him I said listen I have this business a friend of mine sent for me. The man sent the machinery, everything. And I said, I, I don't have time to do it because uh, of my amount of involvement. But I have all the equipment here for you to do this business. I said, I'm, I'm positive this business will make money. Uh, you don't even have to, to do it as an as a, as a eight to four. You can just do it in your spare time. I said, when are you going to start this? Daddy, you see, in the next three months, I'm going to tell you about that, Jessica. I have, I have other plans. Jesus, this, this is stress, amen. This is stress, amen. You see, but the thing about it is that 
um, you're going to be always searching and be, uh, and be always uh, uh, not fulfilling if you don't understand what you really want. And when you're switching like that, you can't really see, see your money going anywhere, you know. You cannot see where your money is going where, anywhere. So, so that you have to be so wise. You have to be so wise to understand, amen, that it, 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 for you to get through, you have to work. Whatever revelation you have gotten, because your revelation is what's going to bring you into your comfort zone. Yes, yes, yes. Your revelation is what's going to bring you into, is looking to switch and switch and switch. Now you can do a number of things because I believe in being multifaceted. I believe in being multifaceted. I always believe the more you learn and the more you, 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 you learn to do other things, you can always pull a dollar here and pull a dollar here. And you can always, amen, have f find relationships. Because one of the things I've discovered is that, is that work brings you into relationships. Work brings you into relationships. It, 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 it causes you to have connections. So, but in the meanwhile, you have to be focused. You have to be focused on, 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 on you. You gotta be focused on you because your your life is is a, you just passing through. You just passing through. But if if you are weak, I want to tell you this straight in your eyes. Watch it me. Amen. Straight in your eyes. I want to tell you, if you are not happy, you're not gonna make anybody else happy. If you are not strong, you cannot make nobody else strong. If you are not winning, you cannot, amen, help anybody else who winning. Amen. So if that man come and tell you, oh, girl, amen, you look so good. Tell me, tell him, I, are you properly employed? Are you, are you properly stable? Amen. Amen. Are you, are you properly organized? If you're already married, it's too late. Amen. I, I, but it, but amen. But it's, 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 this is the opportunity, amen, for you to want to to add value to your life. Amen. Adding value to your life, amen, is so important. And I, let me just say this, just for saying its sake, because of my critic. Not everybody comes with something at the start. I have realized that, amen. When I told my wife, amen, that that amen, I give you all my all my worldly goods in the marriage vow. What I was really talking about was my books from school. Because, <laughs> amen. Because, listen to me, I, I, I had been studying for all these years, just graduated, amen, from college, but the mo my most, most valued, valuable assets were all my, all my books from college, amen. But the thing about it, poor soul, she's so much in love, amen, that, Upon graduation, I'm owing the school some money. Hey, Amen. She comes and she says um, to me, um, uh, look, look, some money to pay off your, your, your college completion. I said, no, I don't want your money. I don't know, no, no. She said, no, but you need to pay. I said, I don't. And that, that's, that's the truth. I said, no, I don't want your money. I don't want your money. I don't want your money. You see, and the reason why I said that is because I was on scholarship. And I knew that the bill was going to be paid. Amen. But I, if I was a stupid boy. <laughs> Amen. You know, you know, the thing about it is that I mean, you got you to, you got to, I mean, again, what I'm saying is that I want you to know, I want you to know the year of divine returns. Amen. We want God to, to, start, to give us another chance. Come, let's stand for prayer. We want God to give us another chance. Amen. We are becoming more, we are becoming more enlightened. Amen. We're not just, this is not being more, getting, becoming more educated. You know. This is getting more enlightened. Amen. You are getting more enlightened. Getting more enlightened. Since today is a prayer service, and we have 10 more minutes so we can get you out of this place by half past, half past eight. Can I ask you to take five of those minutes and really pray, amen, for yourself? Please. Just spread out through this church. Amen. Come to the altar. Let's come to the altar. Let's fill the altar. Kneel down on the side. And, and amen. And, and just, just, just take five minutes. Amen. We, we want to, we have heard from God. We have heard from God. Amen. Come, let's, let's come. Come, come down. And let's just find a place where we could talk with God. Because we want to go out there. We want to go out there stronger. We want to go out there. We want to go out there. 
guided by God. We, we want the wisdom of God to be upon us. Amen. Amen. You can kneel all on the, in the, uh, uh, in the uh, amen, on the carpet, on the altar. You don't necessarily have to come. You can just kneel and face the, face the chairs on the opposite side. Amen. But just, let's just, just talk to God. Take five minutes and, and talk to God. Because Hallelujah. you are the one. You're the one. On Sunday coming, I want to continue this message, but I want to continue it on on the theme on Saturday and Sunday nothing happens until you move nothing happens until you move you see not until you move nothing happens until you say it till you speak amen because God is has given to you what he wants for you but you have to start speaking you have to start moving you have to be that believe in God that you can master your situations you can, you can, you you can overcome. You are an overcomer. You're gonna be empowered. You're gonna be empowered because God wants you to be filled up. God wants you to be refilled. God wants you to be whole. Amen. God wants you, Amen, to to overcome. And God wants you to be in control. That's God's plan for your life. In that place, you are going to help people. Amen. This is the time for you to be helping people. This is time for you to be helping people. Your release is, is, is here this season of your life. Your release is here this season of your life. This season of your life is going to be the best season of your life. I prophesy this on you. I prophesy it on you. I prophesy it on you. That this season of your life is going to be the best season of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every devil that has been sent and assigned to your life to be a destiny killer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has come to be a destiny killer in your life. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke it. It's time for you to have your fulfilled life. Your, your life wherein it's no more mourning. Amen. Isaiah chapter, chapter 61 verse 3. Aki. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a life where God. Amen. Is causing you. Amen. To be in Zion. To have beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. The garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called the trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. It's time for you to get double, Isaiah 61 verse 7. It's time for you to get double in the name of Jesus Christ. God wants you, amen, to have double, Akim, Isaiah 61 7. Amen. For this, your shame shall, for your shame you shall have double. And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land they shall possess the double everlasting joy shall be unto them I prophesy this on you amen start claiming it amen start start recognizing that this is uh, this is my charge amen this is my charge amen you need a minute and a half now amen a minute and a half and then I'll ask you to stand amen in the name of Jesus Christ this is this is your day this is your day this is your day dominion living is in your in your possession your dominion living is in your possession you can win you are going to win you are going to overcome in the name of Jesus Christ the victory is for you you are not a defeatist amen you are overcoming amen in the name of Jesus Christ amen 30 seconds come on make this the best 30 second prayer that you can pray amen tell yourself that my assignment is to win my assignment amen amen is to fulfill amen I'm gonna fulfill my assignment I'm gonna complete I'm gonna finish in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to finish. Amen. Let's stand now. Let's raise our hands before God. Raise our hands before God. Amen. And offer praise. Offer, offer thanksgiving to God. Amen. We're going to offer praise. Come on. Open your mouth. It's not until you say it. 
not until you make it happen is going to happen victory victory belongs to jesus and victory belongs to you in the name of jesus victory belongs to jesus victory belongs to you you are an overcomer you are not a victim you are a victor in the name of jesus come come on believe god amen you are rising strong you are rising strong you are rising up strong amen stronger 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 you are stronger come on you are stronger amen stronger god has amen has equipped you to amen to live stronger amen you are amen going to experience it why because this is your time of your chance this is the time that amen of your fulfillment of your destiny amen in the name of jesus christ this is your time amen this is your time 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 is given to you time 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 is given to you time 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 is given to you